Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Florida State fans coming out of the recruiting trail. Four-star wide receiver Malik Clark committing to Florida State after a lot of people in the industry predicting him to go to South Carolina. Mike Norvell coming in late and landing a wide receiver that you talk about physical traits. Malik Clark is dripping with him, right? Six, two and a half, 185 pounds, runs a 10-5 in the 100-meter dash, has a 122-inch broad jump. You are talking about a big body that is a phenomenal mover, one of the more explosive athletes in this 2025 cycle, and Mike Norvell always be closing. I mean, C.J. Wiley a couple weeks ago was supposed to go to Georgia. Mike Norvell comes in late, gets it done. Very similar story for Malik Clark, one of the top players in the state of South Carolina. The film is a blast to watch. We're going to dive into it, talk about what he brings, to this Florida State offense. Before we get into it, as always, just want to say thank you to you guys, the Florida State fans. Whether we're talking fall camp, whether we're talking the recruiting trail, I can't thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And without further ado, let's get into Malik Clark. And I think you just got to start with the physical traits that he brings to the table now. I think a couple of things are working with Mike Norvell on the recruiting trail. One, he's built a, a second to none in terms of culture. And Malik Clark, when he commits to Florida State, says the culture is second to none in Tallahassee. So I think players just want to be within this Florida State program. But I think outside of that, they just went 13-0 and last year. They just put 10 guys into the NFL. Those are all things that these high school kids are looking for in their college football programs. Mike Norvell could sell culture, and we saw him do a damn good job of that over the last couple of years. Now he's selling championships. He's selling NFL draft development. You're seeing Florida State kind of collect all those things you want with an elite recruiting program, and I think Malik Clark just kind of highlights that. Right? You just put out Keon Coleman, Johnny Wilson into the NFL draft. Wide receivers are going to look at that and say, what better place to wind up? then go play my college football for Florida State. Now let's get into Malik Clark. Again, it starts with the size and the speed. At the end of the day, sometimes we like to overcomplicate this sport. When you get really big athletes who are really fast, your team is going to be really good. Malik Clark is one of those guys at 6'2 and a half, 185 pounds. A 10'5 in the 100 meter was verified with a laser 4'3'9 in a 40 during an offseason camp. There's not many faster wide receivers that you see in this 2025 cycle. And then you combine that with the catch radius that he has. You're looking at a wide receiver that just has such a high ceiling within Florida state. And you're seeing Florida state do that on the recruiting trail, right? CJ Wiley, 6'4", 200 pounds, runs a 10, eight in the hundred meter dash. You saw them take Hakeem Williams, another just traitsy wide receiver, Mike Norvell betting on traits at the wide receiver position, and I have a feeling those traits are going to pay off a couple of years down the road. You get into the film of Malik Clark. I think, yeah, first say, we talked about the size and the speed. Make no mistake about it. He's not just a linear wide receiver. The movement patterns and the movement skills, they stand out on the film. You take a look at this first rep here. Again, we're talking about someone almost 6'3", 185 pounds. He just snaps his cornerback's ankles, for lack of better terms. I think Malik Clark, I mean, he was the cornerback on the ground. That can move to the back. You can get involved in so many different ways. I think he's at its best working vertically down the field. Again, there's just not a lot of defensive backs that can deal with the straight line speed that Malik Clark has. He's consistently running by cornerbacks, running by safeties. There's not going to be many defensive backs, whether at the high school or college level, that can straight up run with Malik Clark. You kind of go back to this rep right here. You get this look against Malik Clark on a safety. It's it's kind of barbecue chicken. You know what's going to happen. Malik Clark's separating pretty much 10 plus yards, walk-in touchdown. Now, what I love about Malik Clark, he's also a guy that you can just get to football to in space and let him do good things. And we know Mike Norvell is a genius at scheming up his players. But what do you excel at? We're going to put you in those spots and get you in those positions. And Malik Clark's a guy that excels at so many different things. He can work vertically down the field. He's also a guy that you can give him a little sneaky end around and let him just go to work. Again, the movement skills, the ability to make people miss, pick through traffic, and then when it's time to turn on the Jets – 
he can certainly do that. Catches in traffic well, which a lot of wide receivers don't at the high school level. I mean, he knows he's going to take some contact, still makes the play, splits the defenders, and you kind of see just shot out of a cannon in terms of the straight line speed that this kid has. I think this is a fascinating get. I wasn't really planning on breaking him down to Florida State. Thought he was going to South Carolina. You get, <laughs> you get, you get, like, you get press coverage on this cornerback. I mean, this cornerback doesn't stand a chance. One, Malik Clark, really good off the line of scrimmage. Two, he's 6'2 and a half, 185 pounds. The size and speed combination, if you want to try to press Malik Clark at the line of scrimmage, it's not going to go well. Just blows by the cornerback. The quarterback makes a nice throw, kind of leading him away from the safety, and we're making people miss. We're going burners to the end zone. Malik Clark, a fascinating, fascinating prospect that I think has just such a high upside within Florida State. And you take a look at Florida State, we've talked consistently about what they've done along the line of scrimmage, right? Some of their best recruits in this 2025 class, line of scrimmage guys, Solomon Thomas, JVN Hilson, Kevin Wynn, Peyton Joseph. That was the position that we wanted to see Florida State do a little bit of a better job of. I don't want to forget my guy, Myron Charles, down there either. I mean, line of scrimmage play for Florida State, really like what they're doing. Then you take a look at the pass catchers, CJ Wiley, Malik Clark, two traitsy wide receivers that are big and they're fast. You want to bet on those kind of guys. The more kind of guys you can get in like Malik Clark and CJ Wiley, fill your roster with those kind of guys, good things are going to happen. But you continue to scroll down and say Dalen McCutcheon, I think is probably the most developed wide receiver out of the bunch. I mean, clean mover, really good at the catch point. And then you go to a tight end and Chase Lofton, who's one of the lowest ranked commits in this 2025 cycle, but a unique radius, a catch radius, I should say. 6'6", 215 pounds, runs his routes like a wide receiver. When Chase Lofton fills out that frame, I think he can be a very, very good tight end for Florida State. You bet on a few guys in Max Redman, who I'm a big fan of, think he's undervalued. Take a look at this Florida State class in 2025 and say Mike Norvell is getting it going on the recruiting trail. And we kind of said that was kind of the last thing missing within this Florida State program. They have built an elite culture. They have elite player development, as we just saw with the NFL draft, and they use the transfer portal exceptionally well. A lot of people would pick at Florida State in terms of what they're doing on the recruiting trail. Those knocks don't really exist anymore for Florida State. I think they finish with the top 10 class, and you look at Florida State, you project them over the next couple of years. I've said this all the time. There's not many programs I'm buying more stock in than Florida State because they have everything kind of in line, right? Elite coaching staff, they retain their coaches exceptionally well. They use the transfer portal very well. They develop their players, and now they're starting to recruit the high school ranks where we should think Florida State is recruiting. Like this Florida State program has everything to offer. It should be recruiting like one of the best programs in the country, and now they are. Mike Norvell doing a phenomenal job, a massive commitment. Emily Clark, we'll cut it there again. Appreciate you guys rocking with it. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace.